If you've been focusing on this series, then you know that we've been spending a lot of time on the settings before we've actually been putting content on my particular website itself. And there's one more thing that I want to do before I actually start writing a couple posts for the website, and that's going to be to look at the categories located under the posts link. And so if you hover over posts, you can see that you've got categories. And so what you're going to need to do is decide if you want to choose between categories or tags. I typically favor the categories. I just like the way that they're set up on my particular website. And you can convert back and forth between categories and tags. You can see there's a little link that we've got here to do that. Now, speaking of categories, we have this default category called uncategorized here that we cannot get rid of. It's an option. They don't give us the option to delete it. So if you're thinking about how your website is going to be set up and some of the most common posts that you're going to be writing, I usually like to go in and rename this that common category that I'm going to have. And so for this particular website, it's going to be based on mountain bike adventures. And this I'm going to kind of put the focus in on this particular website to be something that's going to be geared more towards uh, beginners or even advanced users. It's going to be giving them some tips when it comes to learning how to mountain bike or some things that you pick up while you're on the trail and things that you learn throughout mountain biking. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this one. And so let's go ahead and rename it Tips and Tricks. And the parent category is basically if this was a child category that belonged to something that was a bigger, broader type of a category. There isn't one for this particular one, so I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. The description is an optional thing that we have to choose, and you'll see that it's not um, something that we need. Some themes may show it, so it depends if you want to add it or not. I typically do not add a description at all, so I'm going to go ahead and hit Update. And you'll see what happens is it's renamed it here within WordPress. You see the tips and tricks has been renamed. I have the option of, of going back in and renaming it again or doing some kind of editing to it. The description doesn't show anything because I didn't add a description. The slug is going to be more for that URL friendly type of name for my category. And so this will contain usually all lowercase letters and it will also have no spaces at all in here. So you don't have to really worry about the slug. If this was a hosted WordPress website, you can change the name of the slug and make it something that you wanted. We don't have that option using WordPress.com, and it really doesn't make much of a difference here when it comes to our category. So you can see that one was created, and again, this is this was the default category, and now it still is the default category. And in fact, if you look here, it says that if you were to ever delete a category that posts were in, the posts would never be deleted. They would automatically get assigned to this default one that we had. And it is now called Tips and Tricks. The wonderful thing about WordPress is, is if I were to make the change here, it changes it throughout the entire site. So if you don't like the name of a category, want to rename it, feel free to come back at any time and always rename your categories to something that's more appropriate to the content of your posts. And so I'm going to go ahead and create a couple of other one, ones that we've got here. I'm going to create one called Bikes and just hit Add New Category. And you can see Bikes is going to be created here in just a moment. There's Bikes. And I'll go ahead and create another one. Let's call this one Trails. And uh, this one might have something to do with the different trails that are out throughout the United States. And so let's go ahead now and create a child category of the trails. And so I'm going to break it up into different areas. Let's just go ahead and put one as maybe uh, the United States. And so I'll go ahead and add the category. And whoops, I forgot to choose the parent. But I can come back in here and choose Edit at any time and I can now tell it to be a basically the parent category for this one is going to be trails I'll go ahead and hit update and you'll see that it will modify it for me and you can see that the trails is now it falls is indented underneath the or the USA is indented underneath the trails and so if I were to pick some other um, let's go ahead and do maybe Canada Canada there we go and choose trails you can see that I can make that also um, the trails are parent category of Canada and the reason why I would want to have something like this is because if somebody was searching my website and looking at categories and they may click on the trails they would get all of my posts that belong to the Canada Canada category as well as the United States Canada our United States category that we have here if they wanted to get more specific they could easily click on just Canada and find any trails that I may have here that relate to specifically Canada but not the USA so it gives us this hierarchical structure as far as our categories are concerned and we can actually provide links on my website my WordPress website to each one of my categories and show all the posts that belong to that specific category so these that's why I really enjoy using categories for my website is because we can as a user somebody could really narrow down to the specific posts or articles that you write that are on a specific subject itself. All right, so those are created for us. I also want to show you that if we are creating posts, and I'll go ahead and click on Add New here for the posts, 
we can actually create categories in this post section as well since this whole video is dealing with categories I want to show you that we've got that option here here are my categories itself and if I were to write an article I would pick the category that I would want it to fall in and you can pick more than one category which is a nice thing to do but I can also have the option here to add a new category right in the post section and it gives us this option here I can go ahead and type in the name let's say that I wanted to have something like gear and I can choose whether there's a parent category or not if I hit add new category you'll see that it will automatically refresh my site and then gear is already up there and so it assumed that I was going to create this new article and because it didn't have the category it's already checked it for me when I created it I can just uncheck it for this particular subject but it's now been created if I were to go back into the categories I can see the list of all of the different types of categories that I have and I could definitely delete everything but the tips and tricks and so this is the video on categories before you actually start making posts and putting a lot of content on your website you may want to come up with some kind of structure of how you want your categories to be broken down and, and what kind of structure you want them to be